Something serious is happening to Dave Chappelle. He's not the same. Look into this man's eyes. These are the eyes of a very broken man. Something has happened to him, and it's no small thing which has happened. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Ever since the Illuminati nonsense, his damning expose of Hollywood and his subsequent refusal to be a part of it, Dave has clearly had a few things happen to him. Things he's not talking about but would very much like to. Look at the face he makes after saying this. And you came, Dave, but you didn't decide until the last minute, it seems, that you were going to do it. Right. Well, one, one of the reasons was because I knew once I decided that I had to show up. I had to show up. Yeah. I had to show up. Yeah. This right here is the great dissatisfaction at the fact that somebody or some people seem to have forced him to do some things his sense of self-respect would not allow. To do things he was previously kicking against, and publicly so. It was a, it was a perfect storm of circumstances. They made me do it. They made me do it. They made me do it. <laughs> he could not have made it any more obvious than this. Dave Chappelle is clearly trying to tell us something. And immediately after making it obvious that he's being forced to do something which he doesn't want to do, he looks around to make sure that he's safe. He does this repeatedly. I watched uh, SNL last night with Dave Chappelle. And, <clears throat> and it was it was hilarious, as I expected it to be. But something was off about him. Something was a bit odd about Dave Chappelle. So let me just go out and say, I think he's been cloned. I'm not being facetious. I'm not... Joking, I dead legit think this dude has been cloned. <sighs> Besides the obvious physical differences between this new Dave Chappelle and the old Dave Chappelle, I mean, the, it, it's pretty glaring. Um, from what I do know of clone technology, nowadays a couple million will get you a, a decent clone. All they need is uh, some hair or some blood. They don't need much, just enough. But you know, every cell is pretty much a replica of you. And uh, <clears throat> takes about six to eight months to grow a, a fully uh, adult-sized clone. Um, they've been doing it since 
the Germans in the World War One. What a lot of people fail to realize is after uh, this operation called Operation Paperclip. And what ended up happening was the U.S. allowed all these German scientists amnesty to come into the U.S. to work for them. So, of course, they brought all their technology, all their advancements, which would explain the U.S., you know, all of a sudden leaps and bounds between the mid-1900s to the 60s. I mean, the, the, the technology advances were just unbelievable. Because we all know American scientists were not the best or the brightest. It's always been the Germans and the Japanese, <clears throat> without question. Um, and if you know anything about military science, they're always roughly 30 to 40 years ahead of civilians. As far as um, applications, military tech, just technology, period. Always 30 to 40 years ahead. So by the time we get the new shit, it's already, the, the, the military has been using it good 30 years easily <clears throat> a lot of movies kind of give you indications of that um now the new the new wave is all they're, they're now they're unveiling the uh the mech suits the gundam suits they've been doing that since the 70s that i know of playing around with the mobile gundam suits and the exoskeleton suits so now you got movies like edge of tomorrow showing um exoskeleton suits and they're just kind of playing around and releasing some old footage of like early prototypes of soldiers using um old school mech suits just haven't brought it out yet because the public's not ready for that type of shit um <clears throat> so back to the cloning yeah man he <coughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna convince me that he hasn't been cloned and uh, and normally a lot of times you know, you, they disappear for a few months and they come back all of a sudden, they're all buffed up, faces fuller, features a bit distorted. Uh, I I mean, we know as you get older, certain features kind of change and you kind of nose is spread or wrinkles, but, and even certain um, facial tics. But if you know people and they have certain scars and certain spots of their bodies and all of a sudden it's not there, you know that they've been cloned. Because they can't clone scars. When, you, when you're cloned, you're perfect, perfectly, you know, without blemish. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's, that's the new way now of getting rid of people. They don't necessarily have to kill you like, like a prince or like a Michael. They can just, you know, kidnap you and replicate you and put you on stasis. Put the original person in stasis and let your clones go out and just do whatever the fuck they want. Uh, case in point, like Justin Bieber's clones have been acting up in the public, which is why he's not in the public right now, because the clones, they, they are not, they're like better versions of Bizarro. And if anybody knows who Bizarro is, obviously he's Superman's clone, but Bizarro is, he's backwards. He's everything about Superman in reverse, right? And he's not the brightest thing. So yeah, the clones are not the sharpest knife in the tool toolbox. And they do malfunction from time to time, which is why they keep, have to keep making them. Uh, <clears throat> and then, you know, I, I'm told that nowadays they, uh, they, they'll clone certain individuals and sell the clones overseas for people to use them at their, at their leisure and at their, uh, at their dispense. So, uh, like, I've heard stories, but then it's like, I had, you know, a couple people called me to kind of just, like, confirm, like, yeah, they they selling them overseas. And, um, cause I, I know Shakes pay big money for certain stars to be cloned. And, uh, <clears throat> in another, um, uh, another report I was, I was looking at, I noticed that Madonna, right? Because she walks around with a guy that's a cleanser, right? So what he does is everything she touches or anytime she sweats or anything like that, his job is to clean up her residue, like, he walks around with towels and UV lights and disinfect it. So anything and everything she touches, he sprays it down, wipes it down, UV lights it. So you can't, so no one can get, you know, uh, a piece of her, you know, any of her residue or her cells or her skin or hair or anything like that. Because that's all it takes is just a drop to clone somebody. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it was obvious Dave is not Dave 
from last night. And I knew something was up. After, the, you know, he went to Africa and he quit the show. You know, we're talking tens of millions of dollars he walked out of Hollywood. And then a few years later, all of a sudden, they, they kind of welcomed him back in with open arms. It's like, no, nah, that's not how it works. Like, once you've been slandered and blackballed out the industry, they rarely ever let you back in. Or unless you have to do some serious, sick, twisted, devious shit to get back in their good graces. And even still, they keep you on a short leash. <clears throat> Like even Monique. Monique is now just, they're just now starting to fuck back with her again. Not saying she's cloned or anything, but after that little rant, she fell out with uh, the gay boy, Lee Daniels. She was blackballed, still blackballed, but now she's doing a couple movies, little, little, little low budget movies here and there. So they're slowly like, you know, when the money gets low, sometimes you got to do some things you don't want to do to get back into, into what you're used to doing and what you like to do and to make money off of it. But <clears throat> when I started seeing... Dave getting back in, in the media spotlight again, like everything is cool, like everything was cool. It's like something ain't right, cause like I said, once they blackball you, that's pretty much it. Unless you gotta give up something, something significant. And uh, maybe he agreed to be cloned. I don't know, but that damn show ain't the Dave Chappelle we all know. I I don't care if you dismiss it, think I'm crazy or conjecture, or whatever. That ain't Dave Chappelle. Because this motherfucker is a, a jigglypuff, just a puffed up version, of, uh, like a bloated fish of, of the original Dave Chappelle. Uh, it's so obvious, it's not even funny. And I'm not even talking just the physical stature, but even the facial, his facial features, man. It's just, um, his chin, his chin, his jaw, you know, the eyes, it's, and... And for those that be like, oh, it's not, it's not, you know, what it is. Like, when they just dropped, when they introduced the the, the, the the clone sheep dolly a few years ago, you already knew the fix was in. Because once they start doing the animals, you know, I mean, humans have already been experimented on. So, like I said, every time they release new technology, it's 30 years old. 30 years old. So, take case in point, like Minor Minority Report, the movie with Tom Cruise, when they're talking about pre-crimes. You know, having officers arrest you for pre-crimes, crimes you haven't yet committed, but they can see into the future and, and know that you're going to commit a crime, even though you're in there like, I'm not going to commit a crime. Obama did sign a pre-crimes bill back in 2010. There was a speech he spoke about it, about stopping pre-crimes. So be on the lookout for that in, in the next decade, because there is a there's a committee that's been established for pre-crimes. Um, so they're getting that shit in place, man. So some crazy shit coming. I'm not a crazy conspiracy theorist person. I am a realist. I try to adhere to the laws of nature as much as possible. But then I also know there's a group of people out here that are just sick degenerates and just will engage in all types of fuckery to keep their foot on the oppressive necks of their sheeple. So, that's my rant. Take it how you want, but that ain't Dave Chappelle. That nigga's been cloned, straight up and down. Who else has been cloned? Chris Brown. Bieber. Britney. Uh, who's the other one? Eminem. Oh, my God. Obviously, like, you can't even fake that. He's, his shit's so fucked up. He's got clones and body doubles running around here. So, uh... <laughs> It's crazy, man. Y'all just got to be careful about who y'all hang out with and who, who you give in, your energies around to and who you surround yourself with. Because there's, there's some real energy vampires out here, man. So y'all y'all be on the lookout for this shit. It's, it's crazy, man. All right. That's my rant. Check your tone ring, man. I don't think you know who you're talking to. Little Washington. Don't give a butt nigga for nobody. You want this roll, nigga? You're gonna have to shoot me.
OK. I'm going south of the border. It's just one thing that Leonard Washington don't do. But, but Leonard, it's OK. I'm, I'm waxed. Damn. Now, I done heard of trimming the hedges. But you done scorched the earth. <laughs> Smell your lightsaber. Lightsaber? <laughs>